So what's going on YouTube? AndrewX1096. Haven't posted a video up in a while. It's been a cool minute. But today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my uh, 2008 FA5 Honda Civic Si with the full Mugen rep look. So you can see I got the Mugen lip on there. It's all messed up already, but it's all good. And I also got the uh, Mugen RR um, carbon fiber hood by Saibon with the functional vents right here, as you can see. K-Series only sticker right here, uh, banner. It's gonna be oil slick, uh, the color. <clears throat> and you know, got that waifu material, little decal right there. Sponsored by Japanese Muscle. They just make decals, slaps, and like clothing. But yeah, got a lot of damn decals on this damn car. You already know, you gotta get that Type R badge right there. So right now I'm running some TE37 reps. You can tell by the gold rivets around it. 18 by 9.5, all sets 20, so I'm rubbing like a bitch. That's why it's all messed up on the side, right here on the fender. More decals in the rear, Just some anime slaps. And I'm also running an HKS <clears throat> catback exhaust without resonators. Also got the Mugen um, spoiler. Just the, it's just the wrap. That's why it's the carbon fiber with the top. The top part's carbon fiber. Just some decals, side decals. I love how these wheels look on my car. Like they're white. They're pain in the ass because they get dirty so quick. I'll show you over here. You see all that brake dust that's on this on the wheel already. I just clean these wheels like the other day. Look at these, really nice and shiny. A little bit dirty, but you can tell those are more dirtier than these. Because, you know, all the brake dust coming from the front brake pads gets on the wheels. But yeah, nothing really special about it. Just your normal FA5. So far, what I've done to it is just gonna be uh, it has no cats, no resonator, full HK exhaust, cat back exhaust. Um, future plans or future parts that I'm gonna be getting for it is gonna be a DC Sport short wrap intake, carb legal. I'll show a video of that when I get that part. And I'm also gonna get headers. And then after that, I'm gonna have to get new struts. So I'm gonna get some stag struts and I'll show you guys how to install that on this car. But yeah, under the hood, it's completely stock. I have, I don't even have an intake on it. Nothing in there, nothing special under the hood. It's basically just like a show car, but I wanna go performance now since I done, <clears throat> since I done all the appearance and everything, you know, made it look nice and everything like that. I wanna go for, performance now so what i'm planning on doing is since i already got the hk exhaust on there i just need to get headers intake probably bigger fuel injectors and after that i'm gonna get flash pro and take it in for a tune in the dyno and see how that turns out i'm thinking about putting a supercharger or a turbo kit on it but that won't be until next year because damn that is expensive so I guess right now I'm just gonna go for a bolt-on and a tune. My goal is to reach at least like 230 or 220 to 230 to the wheel. That's what I'm planning on doing. <clears throat> and oh, also right now I'm just running on some lower springs, 2.5 inch lower springs. As you can see, it's kind of tucked in there. It's not even a finger. Can't even put my finger in there. For the front. Yeah, same thing. It's fucked up because before I got my fenders pulled and rolled, my wheel, when I go to do a U-turn or turn or any type of turn, 
where I'm doing a sharp turn, my wheel or my tire would pull my fender in. So that's why it's all jacked up. This side don't look too bad, but the right side looks really horrible. As you can see right here, the fender cracked, so there's no way of pulling that back out. But it's fine for it's fine with me though. I'm not really too concerned about it because you know nothing's perfect. I'll put in a clip of how my exhaust sounds, the HKS without the resonator. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Some anime slabs in the rear. Got a little bit of camber right there. Natural camber, had no camber kits on it. It just cambered naturally when I dropped it. Show you guys the little light. yeah there you go when I get my other parts I will show I will post more videos of it unboxing and installation process and everything so yeah that's about it man nothing else to show other than the interior nothing special about the interior kind of junky Just got a diamond shift knob. You already know, Type R badge for the steering wheel. Got myself a little dash cam. Nothing special. Nothing special on the inside. But yeah, that's about it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to be more active on my channel, so. If you guys want to see what I do next to this car, <clears throat> uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. But other than that, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more future content. Thank you.